The evolution of clocks began with the most primitive forms. The sundial told time using shadows cast by the sun. The clepsydra measured time by the level of water pouring to and from vessels. And more recently, there was the weights-driven system used in grandfather clocks until the advent of electric clocks. Time has always been an important aspect of a Muslim's life. It's an indicator of when to perform the five daily prayers and for tracking events in the Islamic calendar. al Jazari, a 13th century Muslim inventor, understood the importance of timekeeping and engineered many fascinating water clocks, including the one seen here, al Jazari's scribe clock. This water-powered portable clock stood one meter high and half a meter wide. The scribe with his pen is synonymous to the hour hand of a modern clock. He rotates automatically, indicating the time by pointing at the divisions on top of the clock. The robotic scribe sits on a pulley, which is driven by a float and a counterweight. The float slides freely up and down a calibrated ruler. Half submerged in the water, the float's position is dependent on the level of the water. To measure time accurately, the drop in water level has to be constant. Recognizing this, al Jazari ingeniously designed a taper-shaped beaker that discharged water through a small onyx at the base. The float that's dependent on the water level provides a constant pull on the pulley that rotates the scribe uniformly. As the day passed, time was measured by the uniform motion of the scribe's pen, sweeping across the divisions throughout the day. The scribe clock works on the same principle as the 24-hour clock we use today. However, al Jazari also incorporated a solar chart that indicated the varying lengths of the 12 solar hours during daylight. This ingenious device is the work of Badi al-Zaman, Abdul Ez ibn Ismail ibn al-Razaz al-Jazari, who was a Muslim engineer who lived at Diyar Bakr, north of Baghdad, under the Ayyubi dynasty, shortly after Saladin the Magnificent. Al Jazari built a large number of mechanical devices that revolutionized engineering. He described many of them in his book of knowledge of ingenious mechanical devices.